Hi everyone, this is Care. Welcome back to official channel VidiProg Vlogger. New series of VidiProg Guide Tutorial is now available in this channel, where you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to create stunning video from scratch in VidiProg Vlogger. But before we dive into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create slow motion or how to slow down your video with constant speed change feature in Video Prog Vlogger. Deceleration is something video editing can live without. You can see it in video of extreme sports, pets, and daily vlogs. But to yield a smooth, slow-down effect, you must make sure the original footage comes with a sufficient frame rate. Otherwise, the video might lag and stall. And for a smooth, slow-motion playback in post-production, you are suggested to film the video with higher frame rate, like 50 frames per second, or 60 frames per second, or even higher. Alright, after you create a new project, Import your video to media library, then drag it down to a video track in the timeline. Well, before getting to the edit, identify the clip you want to decelerate, select it, and use a split tool to split it out. But if you want to slow down the whole video, you could skip this part. Either way, you choose the clip you are going to work on, and here we are going to show you three ways to slow down a video. The first and also the easiest way is to go to the time stretch, which you can find through clicking the little triangle next to the ripple at the bottom. Now in this little pull down menu, choose time stretch. Then select a clip that you want to slow down. Hold and pull the end of the clip to make it longer. Well, here is it. The video decelerated with just one click in the timeline. Anyway, I want to give you a little hint here. If your video comes with the soundtrack, the audio would be slowed down simultaneously as you decelerate the video. Thus, if you want to retain the audio, click on Mute Video Track and drag the original footage to your audio track and adjust the length until it fits in the added clip. The second method that you could work with is to use a play speed in the inspector. Here you choose the parameters 1 8th, a quarter, and half. Or we'll click custom and move the slider to adjust the speed as you like. Another is that you could enter the duration of the clip you expect down here. And the program will automatically match the speed to the time you adjust. The third way is to use a speed adder to do the work. Select a clip, choose a long linear editor in the play speed section, or click the speed in the toolbar to open the speed editor. You can find a bunch of presets to go with. Click constant. In the pop-up row, choose one that you want leverage in your work. And in your left hand here, you can scroll up and down the line to find more speed to embed in your editing. On top of that, you can also select custom and manually adjust the bezel curve to achieve a long linear speed change. Well, if you want to do something intense, create more dynamic and stylish speed ramping effect, go watch a tutorial over long linear speed change tutorial, and I will put a link in the top right corner of the screen. One thing you need to know is that by default, slowing down a video won't change the pitch of the audio if the video comes with the soundtrack. But if you want to adjust the tones and pitch, select the change voice pitch button in the speed editor. 
<laughs> All right, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to slow down video in Video Pro Vlogger. I think you've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in our Sky tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.